Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black uh, white pieces here. I'll play the London system setup. Starts with pawn to d4, bishop f4, pawn to e3, standard moves, trying to develop the bishop now. I need the right diagonal where the opponent's king will be castling mostly. Can develop the knight always. Go towards the center as well. And then hope for some tactics. I'll go in the center. Try to pin the knight there. Um, let's go with some other pieces as well and have fun. Okay, that attacks my knight and this defends it again. And this attacks my bishop. And I should be exchanging here. Yep. I should go up with the pawns. Trying to take control. Now suddenly if he plays h6 or h5, that's a fork coming from the knight. That's when knight is very dangerous there. I'll play pawn forward again. Hoping he plays h6 by mistake. Doesn't as of now. Pawn forward, he takes a pawn. Uh, but do I have any other option? Most likely, nope. Does take. I can take another now. That's weakening. Um, I should be castling here. Let's take the knight first, maybe. You can still take the pawn. Doesn't. Just make sure that the state the position remains the same. Uh, that can be a checkmate as well. So I have to be careful. No other option. Have to cancel. Let go of the pawn. Let go of the pawn. How's knight here? Loses the knight on the spot. How do I trap his queen? Is there a way? I doubt. Spawn up already. Playing fast on time. And too strong. Okay, pawn forward. Interesting ideas. I will let him take maybe and I take back. Let's sack a pawn. Let's sacrifice a pawn. Let the king rip open. I'm trying to exploit it later on. Now this is also fine. Okay. Uh, what have I got? This doesn't work. Knight here doesn't work. Is there anything that works right now? I doubt. Apart from queen exchange. Yes, he gets to have an extra pawn, but that's it. I'll relieve some pressure. Should I be taking it? To have something better. Just one final call before we exchange. I cannot take, I cannot, that's an inactive square, I think I should take. And I'll take here as well, but then this rook comes out. If I suddenly try and attack, then that's a fork coming. So let's save the pawn. Takes back. 
Mechanic change rooks. Certainly not the top of my priority list. I'll go up. Okay, he wants to give me a pawn and get his knight there. Kind of okay for me as well. Uh, let's get this rook active. That can do something. That's a check to begin with. Things can change pretty quickly in chess. I'm about to experience that. Let's see if this really works out. Would be tough, but it's doable, I think. And that all begins with a check. And then the other rook comes in pretty quickly. Okay, if I take and he takes, no, it doesn't work. I have to get the other rook as well. Here I come. Knights are pretty importantly placed. A piece down. No, I'm up. I'm a couple of pawns down, but still, the attack is on. And my opponent doesn't have much options because I'm going for a quick checkmate now. How can that be saved? Because of course, knight cannot help. This way, the knight can help. Okay. Which means you have to distract the knight. Which means, okay, this should be helpful. What if I take? Nah, let's not take. Let's just exchange. He takes, he loses. As simple as that. He doesn't take, he loses. As simple as that. <laughs> this is over, most likely. That's one hell of an attack. And that's basically because he doesn't develop the bishop or the rook early in the game. Okay, so I think I can take here. Yes. And now he takes. That's a check to begin with. And that's another check to begin with. And that's mate. To end that misery of his. Welcome to the real world of chess. I was down and out. And I came back very strong. Let's analyze the game quickly once from the computer perspective. Starts off with d4, d5, and then bishop f4, pawn e6 by the opponent. I play e3 c6 followed by bishop d3 standard development moves knight comes out for both the pairs knight acquires e5 a very good square in the london and that's why knights on the e5 are amazing and then i try to pin the knight and then i eventually i think i yeah got the other knight out as well here i develop the other knight on f3 connecting both of them takes on the bishop which gets taken back with the queen I can castle, but I went on with pawn ahead. Opponent plays a knight f6. I still proceed with the pawn. And there comes the nasty check. Now I try to defend. And then my opponent takes. And I take on the knight, which he does take back. And then I castle. And then eventually I lost. Okay. Yeah, oh, this move was nice. If I come here and he takes on the pawn, I can take his pawn as well. That's nice. And then suddenly I'm coming in the tempo with the rook as well. I missed that point. Uh, after pawn forward, I try to just push my pawn forward onto h6 and open place pawn forward again. 
And then I try to exchange queens off the board. And yes, of course, he takes the pawn. And the best move was to take the queen, which we, does happen. And now I'm two pawns down in this process. And then I just went ahead with a four. Opponent does take the pawn. I take back. Uh, knight comes on to e4. I just kept pushing one sole pawn. Nothing there much. And here game turned a bit in my favor as per the computer. After I take the pawn, he takes back with the knight. I get the right rook active. Opponent goes back, and that was the worst move because now I get to have the control of the G file of the seventh rank. Now, uh, here my opponent can play rook to the corner straight away, trying to avoid the check. Doesn't happen. I gave a check. He moves. Eight and five from here, and I can't count it. No, I can't see it simply. What was the moves? Order knight h4. And here, what I'm threatening really, I was wondering if I can take, but okay, now I have two knights attacking the same pawn. So he has to defend. And if he does try to defend, I can deflect him. And then he loses his rook there. Still, it's not mate happening. Why was computer saying mate and five? What was the right move order? I went with the knight, sorry. Uh, let's analyze. How is it mate in four? Rook comes here. There's no mate there. Computer is confusing me. How is this mate? Now there's no mate. It's suddenly plus 11. So yeah, there was no mate, but yeah, suddenly winning position from there on. Can always build on to. If he doesn't get anything in between, just develops the bishop, he loses the bishop. Otherwise, it's a checkmate, suppose. Yeah, so he has to get the knight in between. If he tries to get the bishop, then he loses the bishop or he can double up as well. That still looks kind of a mate happening. He can get the rook here. Uh, I can take the bishop. That would be over as well. But anyways, let's go back to the game. This computer waste starts some time. Then I get on with the second rook and here he gets with the knight. And now I can take as per the computer. That would also be mate in three. Does take. Okay, I can take this. And after he moves, that's checkmate. I missed this, but eventually I got it right by pressurizing more on the same knight. Okay, nothing much can be done there. I take on the knight. He does take back. That's check. And for by another, and that's mate. So even if you're down two pawns, you can always make a comeback. So the advantages of the advanced edge pawn again, advantage of trying to control the seventh rank with the rooks, and disadvantage of not developing your bishop. That's why you say basics are always important. If the bishop wouldn't have been here, the last rank control was better, and the rooks could have been would have been connected and could have saved the checkmate. But that doesn't happen. So yeah, lessons, a lot of lessons from this game. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow again with a nice video. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.